Hey y'all, I have just finished a nine mile run this morning in the brutal heat and humidity. I think the temperature was in the high 70s and the humidity was 94%. My fingers are like fat little sausages. <laughs> it's so gross. Oh, um, this should be the last really brutal long run of the season because we're getting our first cool front tomorrow and typically in our area in South Texas, uh, we get our first cold front or cool front about mid, early, mid, late September. And it's coming a little early this year. So it'll drop our temps into the low 90s during the days and in the 60s at night. So it'll be fantastic. Because I think um, typically during the heat of the summer, we're at about 77 at night. So it's just brutal when you wake up, that humidity. It's uh, I was sweating by the time I got, I walk about two tenths to get to where I start. And uh, this morning, I was already drenched by the time I got to the start line. <laughs> So, um, I'm feeling much better than I felt last week with my heat exhaustion. I took great precautions today, and um, and I'll continue to take them during the day. I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to work in my office all day. I will not be out in the heat. The reason I'm still outside is because I am doing my feet. You know how I like to soak my feet. It's really not soaking my feet. Well, it's soaking my feet, but it's uh, it's an ice bath for my feet because I have had that injury that is twitchy sometimes, but right now, not so much. So, feeling good. Still a little ahead of schedule for the long runs, but um, I like it that way in case I'm injured and I can take a week off here or there. Maybe not a week, but a long run off here and there. So, I hope y'all's training is going good. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, so many of you at the rock and roll in November. I can't wait. It'll be so much fun. Um, and I'll see all of y'all at the finish line because I know y'all will all beat me. I'm a slow woman. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Bye.